Now the filler in the holes is dry, we're ready to think about final placement of the pickups. Now I'm using dog ear style pickups, and dog ears are not height adjustable. Typically you have to uh, get their height relative to the strings at the right position by using these spacers. Uh, you stick a spacer underneath the pickup to raise and lower it, and then you have a little bit of fine adjustability by uh, turning the pole pieces. Now these vintage vibe guitar pickups, as I mentioned, have a little bit more adjustability with these uh, screws that let you raise and lower the uh, assembly by about uh, an eighth of an inch in either direction. Vintage Vibe Guitar has sent me a bunch of these uh, spacers. There's a couple different heights. There's a 1 8 inch and a 3 32nd inch uh, spacer. I'm going to go ahead and put the 3 32nd spacer underneath the, uh, the bridge pickup to raise it uh, up a little bit. The distance between the body of the guitar and the strings is uh, highest at the bridge position. Neck and middle are inherently closer, so I'm not going to put any spacers under those. Of course, you can always come back later and make adjustments if necessary by adding or removing spacers. And I'm going to put that one spacer under the bridge, as I mentioned. Uh, feeding the wires through, sometimes the wires are hard to shove through the holes without them getting all messed up. You can either stick some masking tape around the, uh, the wires or just uh, fold it over into a little loop like this and shove it through. So let's put this uh, spacer underneath the strings again. And with that loop in there, it makes it a little easier to uh, push them through. And then uh, get some needle nose pliers to pull the rest of the way through. Now it's probably a good idea to uh, label the wires at this point. Just writing, a, writing the word bridge on this. And you can always, if you lose track of which wire is which, you can figure them out by ear later. But so just save a little step for later. Next up, let's do the middle. Now the next thing to think about is front to back pickup placement. Um, you can see that there's a fair amount of play of each pickup over the routed recess there. Uh, so what we want to do is try to find a place that um, is basically centered over the routed recess. I'm, I'm focusing on front to back position here, not side to side. We'll deal with that next. Um, so what I'm going to do is take my calipers and, and choose a position for this first pickup that's uh, basically centered over that routed recess, and it's just about 3 sixteenths of an inch. Then what I'm going to want to do here is to avoid um, uh, the difficulty of trying to be really accurate and make everything perfectly parallel, I'm going to use a really simple technique of, of inserting spacers uh, to keep things all parallel with each other. The reference point is the edge of the fretboard, and what did I just say? It was 3 sixteenths of an inch? Um, yes, I need to find a spacer that is about 3 sixteenths of an inch that I can just sit in that space um, and then shove the pickup up against it. Now you can try things like, you know, pencils or ballpoint pens or whatever. Now drill bits like these make good spacers because they uh, come in a lot of different sizes. A standard set often has um, a drill bit every 64th of an inch or so all the way up. So you should be able to find one that fits really well in here. Uh, this one right here is a 5 seconds, which is a little under 3 sixteenths. So I, th I think um, will make it fit pretty well. So I'm just going to wrap this in some blue tape, which will actually increase its size by just a, uh, just a little bit. The blue tape is just so it doesn't scratch up the finish. Uh, right, it's just a little over. A little over 5 30 seconds. So what I can do is just stick that spacer in here and shove the pickup against it. 
and that's going to guarantee that this pickup is parallel with the edge of the fretboard. Now for the side to side position of the pickup, you just need to choose a location that gives a reasonable amount of coverage of each uh, pull piece for each string. And what I'm going to focus on is the low E and high E pull pieces uh, relative to their strings, uh, trying to get an equal amount of pull piece exposed on the inside of the string. So you can see where I've got it right here. There's just about a, I don't know, about a sixteenth of an inch of the pull piece exposed on the inside of the string. And then I'm just going to take some tape and tape this pickup down. Now when I'm doing this, I'm keeping, I'm actually pulling the pickup against that spacer, which is forcing it to be parallel with the edge of the fretboard. So I'm not having to worry about the front to back position at all. I'm just pushing up against that spacer. And when I tape this down, you can see I'm, I'm leaving the hole in the dog ear exposed so that I can come back with a drill bit and just drill the hole for the, the screws. So there you go, that's the first pickup and I can feel that the spacer is nice and snug in there. Alright, for the middle pickup I need to choose a front to back position that centers the pickup over the routed recess and then um, I'm going to pick a spacer that fits well for that. So I've picked a, uh, a drill bit here which is 11 30 seconds and I've wrapped it up in tape and I'm going to use that as my spacer. If I just drop that in here like this then I can shove the pickup up against that spacer, up against the first guy, and uh, then I only need to worry about the side to side position for the pull pieces. So again, I'm going to choose a position that um, gives a nice even amount of pull piece underneath the uh, high and low E strings. Looks like about there. And uh, tape it down. When I'm taping and I'm keeping firm pressure up against that spacer, Now for the bridge pickup, I just need to move the, uh, the spacer over here, push the uh, pickup right up against it, focus on side to side position, just um, same thing, getting an even amount of pull piece exposed under the high and low E, and then tape it down. While I'm taping, I've got firm pressure up against that spacer. So next up we just need to choose some screws and then we can start drilling the holes.